Okay. Um, I'm just mad about... I'm mad about... Uh, uh, what am I mad about? I'm mad about roadside bombs. I'm mad about our response to roadside bombs. Um, you know, I don't know any more sophisticated way to put it than that. Uh, the enemy that we're fighting in Iraq invests a couple dozen dollars in what it takes to create a roadside bomb. Our response is now we're building all these big V-hulled vehicles uh, at the cost of billions, tens of billions, if they get as many of them as they want, to combat a weapon that costs dollars to make. I mean, it just, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, how does that make sense? Where else in the world, you know, would you make that kind of economic evaluation? I mean, you know, what uh, Fortune 500 executive could say, our competition is spending dozens of dollars, and we've got to respond by spending billions of dollars, tens of billions of dollars, to compete with their expenditure of hundreds and thousands of dollars. So, I haven't even really thought about it a lot more than that. I just want to say, that's wrong. We just shouldn't do it. Um, we ought to find a different way to get what we want out of countries, you know, like Iraq, where we're clearly there for resources that we want, or uh, markets that we want. Um, we've just got to find a more cost-effective way to do it and by invading countries where a guy can uh, put together a couple of electronic parts with an old shell and cause us to uh, have to respond with billions of dollars worth of expenditure. And beyond that, it won't even do any good. I guess this is where the really crazy part and the thing that really makes me the maddest about it. That's just the part that doesn't make sense. What makes me mad about it is um, that it won't even work. All these guys have to do is build bigger bombs or keep perfecting these, uh, what do they call them, shaped penetrators that they're apparently getting from Iran. So in other words, now they may have to spend a few hundred dollars and they can blow up these bigger tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars um, vehicles. So, I mean, it won't even work. So, here we are, just like in Iraq. Why don't we just get out? You know, we're throwing good money, good resources, good human beings after waste, you know, for nothing. Um, why even start to build these MRAPs, or whatever the hell they are? Because all these guys got to do is build bigger bombs that just cost $100 instead of $10. Does that make any sense to anybody else?